Hello, and good morning. It's way too early for me to be recording this. As you guys requested, we are doing a video about how the new Destiny Clan events works so that you guys can like understand the reasoning behind it. I know a couple people seem confused about this new system, but it's going to be so much better <clears throat> than the previous system. So this is Destiny Clan events. It is a section that you will not be able to type into. But it will organize all of the events. <clears throat> Excuse me. It will organize all of the events that we have created. So if you go into anywhere in Clan Tower, but most of the time you're just going to be going into Clan Chat. Say you want to make an event. The Master King's Fall Raid's coming out today. So let's, you just do slash event create. It'll ask you plus one option. What activity are you doing? <clears throat> you can just say activity and it'll give you a list of activities or you can type something in. I'm just going to say King's Fall, Activity King's Fall, and it's going to pop up. It's already set default to Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> but say you're in a different time zone and you need to make it specific to your time zone. So say you'll put in, I'm, I'm going to say for 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So you'll just need to put that your time zone in and then say the date. Time and then date. If it's for that day, just later on in the day, you don't have to put the date. It's going to default to today. But just so it's clear, you can put 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 9, 20, King's Fall, and then in the description, you can put whatever you need for the description like you normally would. You could say, we're doing checkpoint farming. You can say, uh, we're doing a teaching run, whatever. Whatever you want for your event if you're creating an event. And then you hit submit. When you hit submit, you're going to get a notification, creating event. Only you will see this message. It's just confirmation that you created it. But once you've created it, you see now there's a message in Destiny Clan events. Now there is a King's Fall roster for today at 5 p.m. And it even says in nine hours. And it'll say Guardians joined one out of six. That's the basic. Now, what if you see an event that you want to join, want to remove yourself from, or sign up as an alternate because it's full up? So if you see this event, I'm already in this event. So say I want to remove myself from the event, but I want to schedule it for the clan to be able to group up and do together. So like I can hit minus, and now my name has been removed from the activity. It'll say guardians joined, none. Well, plans changed. Now I want to join the activity again and no one signed up for it yet. You hit the plus. You can also say, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You can hit question. And it'll put you in as an alternate. And it'll give you a message. You joined as an alternate to join automatically. If a spot opens, use join instead. So if you hit if it says six out of six and you hit plus, it puts you in as an alternate, but it'll automatically put you in to the team if you're next in line as an alternate. But if you just don't know if you're going to make it in time, you can put yourself in with question mark and it won't automatically pull you in, but we'll probably message you or whoever is hosting or the main person running that event can say, hey, punk, 
you ready to do this event? And you can be like, ah, no, I'm still stuck at work. I thought I might get out early. That's why I signed up. So then that is how you use the plus, minus, and question mark. Other things, other uses for this. And you see how it keeps it organized? So the next event is literally at the top. And then the further events are further down. It's going to keep things organized for us. Next thing. <clears throat> and this is where it starts to get into more advanced uses. But you can hit this gear and you can actually send an alert to the people. Like if I say alert, I'll get a DM from Charlemagne and it'll say synchronize in orbit in nine hours and it'll message all the people who signed up for it. It'll DM them from the bot. So you don't even have to do anything about DMing them. You're just reminding them, hey, it's time to synchronize in orbit. Next thing. <laughs> you can hit edit. You can even hit copy. I haven't done copy yet, but let's say we're going to make a copy of it. It literally makes another raid at the exact same time. But with... But with zero guardians joined so i can make for me and mods and even you you're welcome to start like doing these things too you can like be like all right i want to make two different teams of six for a custom match mini games or custom match just like practicing pvp you can start doing that, make one team of six and then copy it to make another team of six and say team one in the description, team one for punks, PVP practice hour, whatever you want to name it. Like you can be a little bit free with that. So maybe I made this prematurely. This is King's Fall Master. Like I'm not going to expect people to be doing it, but let's... Uh, so we can just go in the cog, delete it. Okay, kick. You can hit kick. There's no one to kick. If there was a person in here, as the creator of it, I could kick somebody from the team early. I've never had to use that. I hope I never have to use that. But there are reasonings for having that need to be there. Okay, recur. This makes an event at the exact date and time one week later. So say I'm doing Tuesday, September 20th, 5 p.m. in nine hours. But then I'm going to want the same event on the 27th. You guys can't really see the calendar in my bottom right corner. But if I want another event one week later, I can hit recur. It is now made one. It says, I will schedule this event for a week later before I automatically delete it. To stop this, press events retire or delete button. So what that means is once this event has ended, it'll automatically make a new event starting next week. I don't need it. So to stop this, press events retire or delete button. So I'm going to say retire. Because it, that means I'm going to make it non-recurring. And the bot just says, I will no longer reschedule this event weekly. There you go. So that's how you set up in a recurring event. I don't think we figured out what party does, but I think it has something to do with one of their newer features coming. And I'll, I'll touch base and let you guys know how that works later. Okay. Public button i don't recommend using that quite yet because for our uses we're using it for clan only scheduling but public can mean this post can literally go into charlemagne's or other lfg servers and it will show up here where other people anybody who uses charlemagne to create events can schedule people to sign up you guys can then sync an orbit and you can, if you do a public event, you may want to use in your description a join code. And we'll see how that goes. But I don't plan on using public anytime soon. That pretty much sums up 
the the extra commands. Um, is there anything else I want to cover in it? As a reminder, the start time will it sh it'll show the time your time zone based on how you registered Discord with your Bungie account through Charlemagne. When this event is about to happen, it says it's scheduled for 5 p.m. So at a half an hour before the event starts, it's going to alert people to synchronize in orbit in 30 minutes. <clears throat> I recommend waiting for that to happen. And then if at the time or 10 minutes before, you can say you, you can probably send them alert. Also, in case you need to refer back to this, when the event starts, it'll stay there for one hour after the event has begun. I set up that earlier alert time and a little bit longer of the event staying there just in case you need to refer back to it, say for alternates or for um, uh, making sure people are alerted early for the event that is uh, coming up. The reason why we did this also, just as a heads up, is so that there's no excess discussion so that you can just literally like everyone in here is going to be chit chatting all day but if you just want to see hey what's the clan up to let's take a look there we go these are the events that are set up and i hope to see you guys start using it more and i hope this video was helpful and explaining like how to use it and uh, kind of the reasoning why I think it'll be really good for the clan, <clears throat> especially once you guys start seeing me and moderators schedule recurring events. Like I plan on scheduling a <clears throat> trials starting team where I won't be where I'll probably select me. It'll probably be me and whoever is the first person who signs up for it for trials. And then I'll pull people from my Twitch chat. For the third person. We'll see. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh ways this can improve the stream and just help people be scheduled uh into events faster. <clears throat> One other thing. If you get on, you don't want to schedule an event, but you're wanting to do Dares of Eternity or whatever event you're wanting to do, you want you're in the game already. You you want to do it right now. You don't have to worry about making an event for it right now. This is for future scheduling, so that way you can plan out stuff. Um, but if you need if you need clan members right now, just go to clan chat and just message at at guardian at at new light at moderators or sorry at vanguard and say I'm doing dares right now. Need some people. Anybody want to join? I also recommend using in-game clan chat um, for that, for scheduling people. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the Discord or in the comment section. And I'll try and help you guys out.